So here is a processing program I am working on and I'm going to show you what it does but I'm not going to tell you what it's for. Um, more on that later. Uh, so let me first load a image. So here's a, a picture of an eye um, that I have in this folder. And um, as you can see down here I have a little drag bar that alters the um, what says pixel size and that's the pixel size of the grid so it's altering the size of the grid so I can go all the way up to a 25 pixel wide grid and all the way down to 2 and as you can see the image is also changing um, size just a bit in order to fit within that grid uh, evenly so there's nothing uh, hanging out of the grid or anything um, then I also have a scale factor for the image. I have a, uh, it's as a fraction, so I have a numerator drag bar, and I have a denominator drag bar. And as you can see, the grid also stays, the grid size stays the same as I shrink or enlarge the image. Um, just the number of rows and columns changes because it's getting larger or smaller. And um, then I have this average pixels button, which is the whole reason for the program. Um, and when I click this, you see I get a simpler image. Um, the program goes through and averages all the pixels in these boxes, gets the average grayscale value, and then um, displays a square over, over that uh, area of the color of the average value. So I get a simpler image of less pixels. And as you can see, as I drag and shrink the um, grid size um, of each box, I get a more uh, accurate image. And as I enlarge it, you get this, uh, this eye, which you can't really discern as being an eye. Um, I think something around here is... Uh, even up there you can still tell it's an eye but anyway um, so that's that you can see how it averages it and let's see I can load another another picture in so here's the Statue of Liberty and it's a color photo um, it, this program can work with black or white or color, and then in the end it's um, turned into black and white anyway. So same thing, um, alter the grid size. Um, I can alter the scale. And of course I can average pixels. As you can see it turns it into gray, black and white. And uh, you get a simpler Statue of Liberty. Um, let's see, I'll do, uh, do one more. Um, the Mona Lisa um, everything's the same. <laughs> and of course, I slid the bar too far. Um, but anyway, um, that's the program. Uh, there are obviously some things I need to, uh, change in order so you don't make the image too big or and stuff like that but that's it for now um, I think you get the idea so thanks for watching